Hey, it's Jay, and a little over a year ago I made one of my first tutorials on how to really clean your carpet, like a deep cleaning, a once a year kind of thing. And the feedback from that video has been overwhelming. It's actually been great. Now that it's been a little over a year, it's time to clean again. I'm gonna use the same carpet. I'm gonna take some of this painter's tape and I'm gonna divide the carpet into sections. And we're gonna do a few different methods on the carpet this year, and then just kind of see which works best, and then I'll wash the whole carpet in that method. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This area right here is going to be our control. We're not going to touch this during the first round of cleaning. Over here, we are going to use the Hoover Steam Vac Dual, the Spin Scrub and Heated Cleaning. And we're just going to use the regular solution that comes with that. Over here, we're also going to use the Hoover, but we're going to use the solution that I used in the video last year, which we just mixed up. We're gonna use that solution here. We're gonna saturate this area and then follow pretty closely the same procedure that we did last year. And then here, a lot of people highly, highly recommended pressure washing. Now I'm not gonna go full out pressure washing, but uh, I'm gonna go low pressure and we'll see how it goes. I filled this up with some warm water and there's a little chamber in here where you put the detergent in. I've got the Hoover Carpet Washer Detergent, Clean Plus, uh, I'll link it below. Since this is in a huge area of rug, what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit in there. And what this machine does is it'll take some detergent and it'll mix with the warm water, cycle through. It'll actually spray it down onto the carpet and then vacuum it back up in one motion. And then there's another chamber here where everything collects and we're gonna see some dirty water in here. By the way, I'm gonna get some flip-flops on my feet so I've got at least some barrier between my feet and the carpet. Look at that. Definitely got some dirt. It's pretty gross in there. Pros of using this is that, yeah, you just do a quick pass and immediately get some dirt right out of the carpet. Good suction, good detergent, cleans it, smells good. Does it do as good of a job as like the deep cleaning I did from last year? We'll see. Okay, so I've refilled this with warm water. I've taken the detergent out of this chamber and I'm gonna add my solution now. Woo. Also pretty darn dirty. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison just to see if we can notice any difference in the dirtiness of the water. Ew, that's gross! So just real quick, regular detergent, control, my solution with the vacuum cleaner. Now it's time for the solution that we used last year to clean this section here. 
And what I'm gonna do is clamp the corners just to create that bath. We're just gonna let that sit and soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go get the pressure washer and we're gonna do our last section. All right, we've set up the pressure washer. As far as attachments go, I used a really mild attachment. This white one is more for one that I'd use for washing my car. I just don't wanna pull all the fibers out of the carpet. <laughs> uh, what I've also done is I have attached some soapy water with a little tube that feeds into the pressure washer, and so we should be getting some soapy water coming out of the nozzle here. All right, I'm running out of sunlight here in the driveway, but uh, anyway, this has been soaking for, I would say, probably about 20 minutes now. And just look in the corner, you can see all that dirty water. Gross. All right, and then if we compare to our pressure wash section, some of you are gonna say, Oh, you got to pressure wash it from the back side of the carpet, but I'm not sure we're gonna get to that today If I had time I would definitely flip this thing over and pressure wash it on the back side since we have controlled sections It's really hard to do that. That's a suggestion I would say dislodge all the dirt and soil from the other side I'm gonna let this barrier come down and all that dirty water come out One of the criticisms that I got in the comments last time was that people didn't feel that I Soaked the carpet enough after and rinsed it out after uh, I had let it soak so what I'm gonna do is just spray it down, saturate it again, and really get everything out of there uh, before we squeegee and then vacuum it out. No, God, please, no, no, no! Okay, we've got the final reveal here. So this quadrant here, if you recall, is the Hoover vacuum cleaner, which we use the regular solution that comes with the vacuum cleaner itself. If we compare it to our control, it's definitely better than the control. Control is still disgusting. The Hoover over here, we had our own mixture of solution, and you can see that it's looking pretty good. And then down here, we have the pressure washer, and the pressure washer did a decent job with this, just the soap and, and just kind of washing through the carpet there. A little bit better, I would say, than this one. The clear winner here is the method I used in the last cleaning video. So if you could see, nice, clean, white carpet. Actually, it's cream colored, but anyway, it's clearly the winner. Okay, now that I've got a carpet that doesn't match at all, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I guess I gotta clean the whole thing. <sighs> Stop it. Get some help. Føler du deg pæd? Føler du deg slem? Da er det klart at du skal være med hjem. Føler du deg pæd? Føler du deg slem? Du vet at Swan gjør det så. Hey, a little shout out to Ray, who left a comment and said, wouldn't it be smart to just roll up the rug real tight and see if you can squeeze any extra water out? I think it's a great idea, let's try it.
Okay, we just did another round of vacuuming. Oh yeah, I've got a bunch more water out. So, I think it's time to let nature take its course and let it dry out. I thought it was gonna be all like gross stuff in there. Well, it's just water from the carpet. For the finale, we're gonna put the rug back here and I just put our towel drying rack in the middle. I put a fan down here and it's gonna blow up below it. And then we have a couple of ceiling fans. I'm gonna have those going. And we'll just run that through the night. Um, it's nice dry air right now, so hopefully this whole thing will dry out. Whew, this is heavy. So we're finally set up. We've got two fans going full blast right above the carpet. And we've got a fan inside there that's blowing up on the bottom of the carpet. And the kids think it's a pretty cool fort. <laughs> The next day.